What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new horror action figure setup, and we are back in My Damn Kitchen. So today, man, we are back in My Damn Kitchen. This is the brand new kitchen, and we have a massive horror action figure set up for you guys for the month of October, celebrating Halloween and all things horror here on the channel. We are back today, man, with a brand new action figure set up. We got WWE figures in here. We got a lot of new horror action figures, man, and we're just going to dive into it, take you guys through the entire thing, and of course, we will have more of these as the month continues. So with all those things being said, man, let's dive into our setup. We'll start from the right, and we'll go all the way to the left until we finish. And we got one more surprise, actually, after this. All right, man, so starting out over here, we do have Rob Van Dam. He's on top of the toaster, and it looks like he is about to hit a five-star frog splash onto Jason Voorhees, who is laid out on our table over here. So what we may do at the end is we may splash him ourselves through the table just to get a little bit of action in the horror action figure setup. But Rob Van Dam, he's got the crowd on his side. You know, we, we don't have all of the horror action figures just completely decimating the WWE figures. We do get a little bit of fight back, so uh, let, let's get into it. We have Rob Van Dam jumping off the toaster, putting Jason Voorhees, he's through the table with a five-star frog splash. Coming just to the left, guys, we also have this coffin full of weapons. Now, this is just a weapon selection for, you know, all the different characters. Whether they're the horror characters or the WWE characters, they can come through here and uh, pick out a weapon to take out the others with. Now, this right here may be my favorite part of the setup. I'm unsure. We got this new NECA Frankenstein accessory diorama table, and I figured it would work perfectly for the setup to have Michael Myers pinning someone down. In this case, it is MJF, and he's screaming. We have that ringside exclusive Blood and Guts figure. He is holding him down. He's yelling there, and I thought that worked out pretty daggum good. So that's a, that's a good shot right there of MJF. We also have some a uh, couple tables laid out right here, another one back there. Again, kind of fills up the setup, kind of brings it to life, if you will. But here's Michael Myers taking care of MJF, and uh, I guess he's in a pretty bad situation right there. Coming forward to the left just a little bit, we do have, oh my god, I think, oh, wait, wait a minute. Dang, I'm going to have to set this back up, but Frankenstein was getting speared by Roman Reigns. Let's go back, and we'll come back later for this. So what I was saying is Hulk Hogan is getting stabbed from behind from Jason Voorhees in the in the sternum right there with the machete right there. Got some nice blood and guts going on. And, of course, we're going to have some of that stuff going forward for the month. We're going to add to it. We're going to have multiple setups, not only here, but in the backstage area in the office and stuff. But that is the NECA Part 7, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. And uh, he's taking care of Hulk Hogan. That's actually a callback to one of our setups from last year. If we go up this ladder right here, you guys will see Randy Orton hitting a massive RKO onto Chucky. So what this little storyline here is Chucky was about to jump onto CM Punk, who is in this pit of weapons, as you guys can see. This entire little coffin deal is full of weapons, and CM Punk's a bloody mess. He's been getting taken out by Tiffany and Chucky right here. And so Chucky was up there, but Randy Orton came to, to save the day. He ascended the ladder, and he is hitting a huge RKO onto Chucky off the top of this platform here. So, yeah, we got a little storyline going on there, but figured that would be fun. You know, these Blood and Guts figures are perfect for these setups. You, you can get great photography and great moments from those matches in real life, which I think is awesome. But here is Chucky getting RKO'd. I wanted to see how, you know, Chucky would look getting RKO'd, and I'm pretty satisfied with the result. So if we come down from there, we do have Dr. Loomis right here, and he is actually watching Stone Cold Steve Austin burn Michael Myers on the stovetop. Now, what's cool about this is you do have the fire in there, but this is actually the Halloween Kills Michael Myers figure, and one side of his face is actually burnt, so it really fits into the stovetop, the fire, everything like that. Now, I would turn on the stovetop for sure, but it would absolutely melt these figures on top of my stove, and then uh, they would catch on fire, and I don't want to do that. So, you know, you gotta sometimes you got to meet it halfway, and sometimes we do we will do a little bit of extreme stuff but in this case you, you got the fire there you got him burning alive you got stone cold steve austin getting up in his face there and dr loomis is of course watching on got the bald brothers coming together here to take out michael myers finally and i think dr loomis is enjoying that beyond that we do have leatherface right here with his chainsaw taking out triple h who is yelling in agony on the stretcher so it didn't turn out too well for him there but this is kind of a classic callback to our multiple horror action figure setups of the past but i had to have leatherface represented he's got his chainsaw in there and triple h is uh, doomed i guess you could say 
Coming just beyond that, we do have Doink the Clown right here. And you guys can see his face right here. He's like, oh, that was close. I took out this one Pennywise. We have this one Pennywise that's down. He took him out with a hammer. But uh, he, it's going to be short-lived because if you look behind there, you do have the remake Pennywise or 2017 Pennywise waiting right behind him. So Doink the Clown not in the best situation afterwards. But, uh, you know, he's uh, he thinks he's safe for now. He's like, well, that was close. But he is unaware of the danger that does come for him there. I actually don't know what the hell this Predator figure is doing, but he's there anyway, and I wanted to include him in the setup, so there he is. Coming just forward, guys, we also have Mox here with a baseball bat. He is a bloody mess. He survived this Jason. This is a part four Jason, and Mox survived that one, so he's got that baseball bat, putting it to good use onto the Jason Voorhees figure right here. So we got the whole stovetop covered for sure. Next up is a Braun Strowman figure. He's got the machete, and then you have Sami Zayn. They have teamed up together to take out this other Pennywise that we have over here. So we have multiple characters of the same guy or multiple figures of the same guy. But this version of Pennywise is uh, turning into a monster, but he's been taken out. He's got his leg cut off. He's got his hand cut off. And so Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman teamed up with the machete to take out Pennywise right there to finish up our stove portion of the kitchen setup. And a little bit forward, we do have the 2009 remake Jason Voorhees crushing the rock with the Chef Boyardee ravioli, man. I mean, who, who wants to get crushed by a can of beef ravioli? Pretty heavy can, but I thought this looked pretty cool. It's kind of like a steamroll effect. You know, he looks like he's in pain and agony, and I think that just looks so funny and unique. So we do have this uh, Jason Voorhees crushing the rock, and he doesn't look like he's enjoying that. But you don't want all that coming down on you, man. That'll definitely crush your spine. Next up, guys, we do have Brock Lesnar here. Now, Brock Lesnar's taking out Roy from Part 5, Friday the 13th, and he's already taken out a couple other Michael Myers. We have this Michael Myers that's down. He dropped his knife. This Michael Myers has been impaled by a steel railing or or some sort of spear right through the sternum, is co of course. And, you know, Brock Lesnar, out of all the people in the setup, probably the only guy that could probably do some damage back to the character. So he's, he's fighting off all of them. He's got a table back here. You could probably put him through, but loading up Roy for an F5. And then we do have Michael Myers impaled here, and he took out that Michael. So Brock Lesnar's got a lot of momentum going right here. But I figured, you know, Brock Lesnar's going to fight back. There's a few guys in this, in this video that can fight back. I think Brock Lesnar is the kind of guy that could get the job done. But that is the middle portion of our setup. All right, we're getting a little creative right here, man. You guys can see we have Batista here screaming in agony. Now, you'll notice that his eyes are closed, and he's got, like, this meat on top of him here. And Freddy Krueger is in his mind. He's, he's haunting his nightmares. He's in his dreams there. And he's got these demon dogs or these ugly hell dogs right here going after him and he's covered in this like raw meat style so that the dogs are going to attack him and he's asleep and you get the whole point there so he's about to get eaten by the dogs with the with the meat on him there and it, it makes it you get it you get the point this is the kitchen setup man had to get a little bit of creative in there got some lunch meat in there you, you get the whole point it's the kitchen setup so i wanted to i wanted to import some you know some food some drinks some beverage all the different things so there is Batista getting sicked by the uh, the Hell Dogs or the Freddy Dogs or whatever you want to call those. Coming just beyond that, we do have Victor Crowley taking a huge super kick from Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso was not getting taken out, so he is uh, fighting back here against Victor Crowley. And you guys can see that face right there. Doesn't look like he's enjoying that too much. So, so trying to get some offense here in the WWE horror action figure setup. We go up this glass bottle display. We do have Sam right here just waving to the camera. I didn't have anything for him in this setup, but maybe we'll have something for him, for him in a different setup. We'll have to stay tuned. Coming forward just a little bit, we have another remake or 2009 Friday the 13th Jason with this chain, and it is choking Wheeler Yuta down here. So Wheeler Yuta is, is fighting right there. Now he's a bloody soaked mess. He's been fighting with Voorhees, not getting the job done, but you know he, he's struggling. He's dangling right there. So will he get out, man? We'll have to see, but maybe we can continue this in another setup, but uh, this this version of Jason is is got the upper hand for now. I really honestly don't know how the hell you get out of this, but uh, yeah, I mean, who knows? Come up onto the case of Diet Dew. We do have Cody Rhodes here, and he's got his scythe hook knife style deal going on, and he is fighting the Candyman. So we have Candyman here. He's got his hook. He's got his jacket. He's got his good looks going on, and then you have Cody with his hook and his jacket going one-on-one -on -one with Candyman. So we have Candyman versus Cody Rhodes here in the setup on top of the case of Dew. And uh, that's my first time using the Candyman figure 
in an actual setup. So I was excited to get that figure in here. A little bit, you know, a little bit oversized on the Cody, but you know, they're, they're doing war here. They both have loafers on too. So we got a lot of battles going on right here. Coming just below that, we do have the Goldberg spearing the Freddy versus Jason, Jason Voorhees figure into the can of Dew. So one of the cans of Dew did pay the price here. It did get smashed, but Goldberg's fighting back in this, in this scenario. And you know, he's got eight packs of good punch with the spear. So he is taking out the Freddy versus Jason version of Jason Voorhees here in our setup. Panning a little to the left, man, this one's kind of crazy. We have the nun, and she is pushing Seth Rollins, who is strapped into this wheelchair. He is strapped down. You guys can see that he's yelling there. She is pushing him off what I assume to be the entire countertop right here. So that would be pretty scary. I imagine you would be yelling and stuff like that. So we do have the nun taking over Seth and pushing him off the countertop in the wheelchair, but I thought that looked pretty cool there. He's screaming. She's screaming. It's it's pretty terrifying. Fits perfectly into the horror and the, the WWE action figure setup here. Just beyond that, we do have the creep coming out of this crypt or out of this coffin, and Diesel is running away in fear. So we do have him there, and then we have the creep figure. I thought he looked pretty good coming out of there. He doesn't have a ton of articulation, so I was pretty proud of this. It's kind of a basic pose, but it looks pretty good. I think, you know, he's looking pretty good right there coming out of that modern coffin, but there is Diesel on the run. One of my favorite parts of the setup has to be the Pennywise pushing Logan Paul in the shopping cart into the barbed wire platform that is just below. So I think he plans on running him off there, off the off the Diet Dew box onto the barbed wire that sits below there. But Pennywise is enjoying himself and it doesn't look like Logan Paul is. But, you know, I thought it was pretty fun. He's got the shopping cart in there looking pretty good. And I hope to see, you know, more Pennywise and Logan Paul in the future horror action figure setups. But uh, I like this right there. I thought that was pretty unique and uh, fun for the setup. Coming just forward, guys, we do have AJ Styles trapped in this tire, and we do have Jason Voorhees with with the little buzzsaw right there. So he's he's ready to get creative there and uh, take out AJ Styles. Will AJ Styles be able to respond? We'll have to see, but he is stuck right now, and uh, he is yelling, trying to get out of there. But uh, we do have this... This part for Jason right here with this little buzzsaw or whatever the hell this, this contraption is called, man. Wouldn't want to be in this situation for sure. Left a little bit, we do have Kenny Omega with a chainsaw. Now, he is squaring off with the My Bloody Valentine Miner. And this is the first time we're seeing the Miner in our setups as well. He's got his pickaxe in there versus the chainsaw. And I figured this would be pretty fun here. Really like this figure. It's a brand new figure to the collection. And he's squaring off with Kenny Omega. And the Kenny Omega couldn't hold the chainsaw the best. So I did my best to get him to hold it there. But Kenny Omega and the Miner are squaring off in our setup here. Coming beyond that, we do have Annabelle. She's just kind of chilling, much like Sam. On top of the bottle, he, she is just kind of chilling out, waiting for the setups. Maybe she'll get used in a later date, but for now, she is just chilling right here. Felt like she fit in pretty good. Coming left a little bit, you do have Pinhead. Oh, Annabelle fell. Pinhead here, or Hellraiser, and he is trying to take out Chris Jericho with the scissors, man. So Chris Jericho is stuck in a situation, man, and Hellraiser, or Pinhead, is uh, trying to, of course, take him out right there. So we had to have Hell. Razor or Pinhead is a better name to name the guy. So we do have Pinhead here represented in our setup. Try to get all the different horror icons represented here. Next up, I think this is pretty funny. We have the Crooked Man coming out of the trash can looking pretty menacing. And then if we pan over to Danhausen's face, you guys will see how he feels about that. So I just thought that was pretty funny. It reminded me of his different videos and stuff like that. But yeah, Danhausen is uh, pretty creeped out by the by the Crooked Man. But I think I like Danhausen's chances. I think he would do pretty well in a matchup with the Crooked Man. But we do have Danhausen represented here, and I'm sure he'll be probably another part of another setup in the future. But coming just forward beyond that, we do have Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle is running away from Ghostface who does have this knife. So Ghostface is trailing him with that knife, and Kurt Angle is trying desperately to get away, so he's running there. I don't know if he can catch an Olympic athlete. I know Ghostface is pretty fast, but I think Kurt Angle, you know, being an Olympic athlete, I think he could get away from him, but we shall see. Now we have this part of the setup where Roman Reigns fell down. I need to fix this. And here it is. We have Frankenstein getting speared off of the counter onto the bar stool right here through the table. So Roman Reigns is getting the best of Frankenstein here, spearing him off this platform right through the table. And the Bride of Frankenstein is just looking on. Because what are you going to do when the Tribal Chief comes after you, man? You're not going to be able to, able to do anything here. And let's see if we can just do it right here. Well, that was underwhelming as hell. And last but not least, we do have Jeff Hardy here on top of the fridge with Jason Voorhees, part three, shooting the harpoon gun at Jeff Hardy here. So will he, uh, I don't know, is he a good shot? We'll have to see, but Jason Voorhees is trying to unload on Jeff Hardy and Jeff Hardy's ready for all the smoke. So this is a good showdown here on top of the MDT fridge.
But I do believe that is the entire horror action figure setup, man. I think we covered every single portion of it. I want to go ahead and see if we can slam this, you know, get the frog splash in here through Jason Voorhees. That's not bad right there. Five-star frog splash onto Jason Voorhees through the table. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what your favorite part of the horror action figure setup is and if you're excited for more horror action figure setups, man. Try to uh, be a little creative with these. You know, they're really fun to set up because you get to, especially when you sprinkle in the horror figures because you can be more creative. You got some different sci-fi elements or, you know, sort of paranormal elements and things of that nature, so you could play around with that. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys for that. But hope you guys did enjoy the setup i'd love to know your favorite portion again down in the comment section below but love the patron supporters love all you guys watching leave a like on the video if you will i appreciate you guys so very much subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys have a happy halloween and i will see you guys next time have a blessed one and i'll catch you later